Hi everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be discussing the Shark NV352. First, I want to start off by saying that I absolutely love my Shark vacuum so much. I have had it already for seven years. Yes, seven years we have had this vacuum within our family. First, it was my mom's vacuum, and then she upgraded to an even newer model of the Shark, which I will also be doing a video on, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So when she got her new vacuum, she gave us her old vacuum, her old vacuum, and now it is mine. We are going to be conducting three different tests, popular tests that you all are used to seeing with the vacuum test. We have first, we have the flower, we have the Tostitos chips, and we also have the fake hair, which we are using. We're using some string instead of hair. All right, and here we go for the flower. <laughs> Okay, and that pretty much got everything. There's still tiny little bits of debris, but honestly, I would go over a couple times. If this would have been a real spill, I would have just gone over a couple times. So let me go over it once more and it'll be gone. And it has fully cleaned it up. So I mean, just with a couple swipes over, I think that is very reasonable because with flour, it really gets into the fibers of any carpet. So, you know, you really want to suction it up a couple times. All right, and now for the chips. And just with one swipe, we only have just one lonely chip. So it did an excellent job. With any real life messes, I mean, everybody goes over a couple times. If you don't, then I don't know. But usually people do go over a couple times when they make messes and it just cleans it right up. So one more sweep and this little guy will be gone. And gone. Next, let's tackle the hair test. Each of the four or five, I think I had five little pieces of hair, they are gone. So it took care of those completely. We will now be conducting a second test now on the tile. And we're gonna be using again the flour, the Tostito chips, and also some of our fake hair. Okay, and for the flour. Okay, and it looked like it did a very good job of picking it up. We have a couple little spots, one, two, three, maybe four little spots, and it looks like these were heavier, like little piles that kind of went in, but it did a very good job. I'll just go over one more little sweep and let's see it disappear. And there we go. And now for the chips. And it took care of the chips. I see one little speck of debris here, but I mean, it was excellent. It takes care of everything so well. I have absolutely no complaints. So yeah, just one little speck here. So let's just go ahead and take care of that guy real quick. And gone. The last but not least, the hair test. And as you can see, it had absolutely no problems at all picking up that hair and it is gone. If you take care of your vacuum and with anything really in life, it will take care of you and it'll last you a very long time. By maintaining your vacuum every two to four weeks, by cleaning out the canisters, rinsing them out, rinsing out the filters, keeping them clean after every vacuum or two, just dumping them out, and also checking your roller brush down at the bottom of your vacuum. There's a lot of hair that gets wrapped up in the rollers. Just take a knife, cut it on out, and get all that hair out, and it is good to go. and will just be lasting you a very long time. The Shark NV352 is an anti-allergen vacuum that completely seals and traps off all dust and allergens inside the canister. 
Whether if you're looking for a new, used, or refurbished vacuum, you can find them down in the description down below. I will leave a link for everything that I'm talking about, including also, I forgot to mention that we did have to replace our canister. The little lever broke on it, but that was after seven years like we literally just ordered a new one and got it in so what's even really cool is if anything happens with your canister you need new filters you can find all of that on amazon it's absolutely no problem and i will leave everything down in the description link down below and you can find it just by clicking on the title of the video and it'll take you straight down to the description the vacuum has an extended reach, which is really nice if you need to get up high for tall ceilings. It's absolutely no problem at all. It is great for stairs, furniture, floors, high chairs, stubborn pet hair. You can really deep clean your carpets. It has a very powerful suction that just sucks everything out. It also has a knob to adjust the level of suctioning. So if you don't want it to be like such a high powered suction, you can also turn it down and it makes it a little bit easier for the big, thick area rugs to be able to vacuum over them. Cause otherwise with my big area rugs, they're so hard with the suction. Like it's very hard to push the vacuum because of the suctioning being that great. So just have to just turn the lever and it'll release some of the suction power and this way you can just go over your big area rugs with absolutely no problems at all. That powerful suction is excellent for pet hair for those of you that have pets. I personally don't have a pet but my mom she has a little dog and it worked really great for picking up all that extra pet hair. If you're looking for just more of a gentle vacuum and suction, you can also turn off the roller brush and you can go over your hardwood floors or your tile. It's just more of a gentle clean on the floors. So it does have that feature to shut off the roller brush. It comes with wide tool handles for pet hair, but actually for mine, it didn't come with it because it I've had it for so long, but they do come with the wider tool handles. And there's also two crevice tools that are different in length that makes it easier to get to those hard to reach places. It also has swivel steering for excellent control when maneuvering. All right, so for the pros and cons, I'll start off with the cons and I don't really have any, I know I say that with a lot of this stuff, but I mean, a lot of the things that I show you, it's because I really like them and that's why I'm sharing with you guys. So for the cons, I'd have to say probably the hose, it would be nice if it was a little bit longer, that would be nice. It's not like a down point for it because I feel like it is long enough to get the job done. But however, if it would have been a little bit longer, that would have been nice. Now for the pros, and I have many. First starting off with, I mean, it has lasted us seven years and it still works brand new. Like honestly, it works excellent. That alone makes me say like, I recommend it to everybody, anybody, and would definitely purchase it again. I really like to stay within the Shark vacuums because like all the Shark vacuums, they're just really good vacuums. And you know, the Shark name brand in general is just a really good name brand company, reputable company, and so so I really like them. The fact that it has really high powerful suction is something that is really important to me because I want to make sure that I get all the dirt, crumbs, everything off of my floors, off of my carpet. And I just want to make sure that everything is nice and clean, ready to go, get all the allergens, that all that is being sucked out as well. That's really important to me. And with the shark vacuum and its high power suctioning, it does all of that for me very easily and in very little time. So if you are looking for a very good vacuum, one that is not really expensive, one that is not going to break the bank, and one that is going to meet all of your needs, whether if it's at home or whether if you need it for your business or if you're a housekeeper, it'll really get the job done. And I feel that you will be very happy and pleased with your vacuum the way that I am. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, leave a comment and share with a friend. Thank you so much and God bless. Bye.